Hey everybody out there, Chris here. Welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. Guys, we got tons of books this week, obviously because it's the last week of August. Gearing up for September, we'll get into that with the news. Tons of extras, and actually one of the extras you guys know about, but there's an extra within one of the extras that I wasn't expecting that uh, was a really cool plus, which we'll get into when I show it. But anyway... Uh, there won't be any comment, uh, answering comments this week due to the fact that um, it was the last week of my vacation. I spent a lot of quality time with my son and my family and a lot of stuff around the house was uh, needing to be done, so I did that. So I didn't get to read my books till late. The videos literally just went up last night. There are no comments yet on the video, so I've decided to just skip it. And I'll answer your guys' comments in the comment section under the videos. I think I might start doing that from now on. I'm not too sure yet, but... Uh, I'm trying to find a way to scale down the haul videos a little bit. We'll see. But anyway, um, got a really special book this week. Um, in the haul, it'll be the first video book I show, but we'll do that when we get into the haul. Now, no comments this week, but we got a lot of news to talk about. First off, this very video. This is a very special video. This video is the 999th video on my channel. And for those of you that are saying, well, technically a lot of your video series were parted, yes, I did start actually with a walkthrough that was about 30 somewhat parts, and then my comic reviews before I got my editing program were in four and five parts. But yeah, I've made it to uh, a thousand videos. Now, I was going to do a live show special as my 1,000th video, but because this came up on me so quickly, I didn't notice. And I don't want to give you guys um, a um, short notice um, kind of um, announcement. So instead, I'm going to do a 1,000 video video instead. And then after the 1,000 video, within the next couple of weeks, I'll give you guys a um, special live show post the 1,000th video. Um, so there will be a live show. I just don't know what day yet, but I will let you guys know about a week in advance. I don't want to give you guys short notice. I want everybody who wants to be there... The I want to give you guys the chance to be there, and it also gives me time to figure out what I'm going to be doing on that show. It'll probably be a Q&A mixed in with a couple of other things here and there, more me interacting with you guys. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll let you guys know during the weekly comic book call when I'm planning it. Another thing, this summer has been the craziest, busiest, weirdest, all over the place summer that we've had here in a long time and I mean that in the worst way possible because it was terrible um, just all around uh, so unfortunately I promised you guys a Street Fighter summer event it was going to be this big event it was going to go at least one or two videos a week for the eight weeks of summer and unfortunately that didn't happen we got two videos out and then things just got so hectic and so busy we haven't even been able to do any like gameplay on uh, Brooklyn Boys like we wanted to do so I apologize that the event was a bust, but Michael will be doing a review of the Akuma book on this channel uh, as a comic book corner review. It will still be under the Street Fighter Summer Event banner. We'll try to do it before September. And he will also be doing the last five chapters of the Super um, Street Fighter Volume 1. Also to our knowledge though, Street Fighter, uh, Super Street Fighter Volume 2 still has yet to come out. It has not come out this summer yet, at least to our knowledge. If it came out this week with uh, these books, uh, I didn't see it. I tried to find it. It still has yet to uh, be released. I don't know why it's still not out there. It's out there in limbo. Uh, hopefully at some point we will get the book, or it will be released and we'll get the book. But for right now, we they didn't release it, so we don't have Volume 2 to give you guys as a review. But we will finish off at least the books that we were going to review for you guys um, on this channel. Uh, other than that, we have Five Years Later, which is starting up next week. So look forward to Mike and I covering each and every one of the one-shots that are coming out of that event. Uh, we will be doing just like we did last year. We had all the Villains Month books. This year we'll be having every single one of the Five Year Later books. Even the books we don't normally read, we will get the one-shots. And we're going for all the 3D covers this year, and hopefully we will get all the 3D covers this year. Uh, but I don't believe they're allocated, so they're pretty... Um, easy to come by. I mean, the first week we've already got all the 3D covers and it wasn't like a fight, so. And also to mention about that, the Wolverine uh, that I won't be. Yeah, uh, I'll get to that. Mm -hmm. So also on Comic Frontline, uh, last year Dark Avenger Inc., we had a blast doing the Villains Month. We had a huge event that we did for the entire month of September on Dark Avenger Inc. We are now on Comic Frontline's channel and we are planning the exact same thing for five years later. So look forward to a huge 
blowout on Comic Frontline for the next four weeks in September. We're going to be doing the exact same thing for five years later, and we're going to have a blast doing it, and we hope you guys enjoy it as well. Now, with all the books we're getting right now, uh, including five years later and all the new series that Marvel's releasing, etc., etc., Michael, and I agree with him, decided not to get the Death of Wolverine four-part, four-week long. It's a one-part through one through four for all four weeks of September. Uh, it's five dollars a, a part, an issue. It's four issues long, and it's supposed to be the Death of Wolverine. We decided to skip it uh, because of the humongous amount of books we're going to be getting. Uh, and instead, if the series is really good, Michael just trade paperback um, the series later. But there's going to be a bunch of post-Death of Wolverine books, and it's just way too much, especially with Michael now uh, getting access. Um, it's just too much to, to handle right now as far as the bulk of books as well as the pricing. And $5 an issue, just I don't see justification for $5 an issue for the Death of Wolverine, especially for five we four weeks in a row. So that's $20 Marvel's losing uh, out with Michael because we, we just can't do that right now. Just too many books. But we will be covering everything else. And on Comic Frontline, just like on here, we will be covering each and every one of the 41 or 42 issues um, that five years later spans across. It's 42. We'll be, it is 42. Okay. All 42 issues. I don't know why they didn't do 52 issues this time. But anyway, I'm not one to judge. So we'll be covering everything. So look forward to the 1,000th video, whatever that might be. I'm very good at... Um, doing things at the spur of the moment, so uh, I'll probably sleep on it tonight and figure out what I'm doing. Um, also, for those of you that know about our uh, big project that we're working on, it involves stuff here. Um, it's going really well, but because of the craziness of the summer, uh, really haven't gone too far in depth yet. But for those of you that have checked out the channel and have subscribed and have checked out the first two videos, thank you guys so much. Uh, keep sharing the channel with your friends, especially those of you that love that stuff on the channel. For those of you that have no clue what I'm talking about, go check out the Brooklyn Boys announcement. We did that uh, last week or the week before last? I think we did two weeks ago. About two weeks Plus, ago. Plus, I did an announcement on my channel. Though. And Mike did an announcement on his channel also. Just check it out. And on the announcement, we explain what I'm talking about. So if you're in the dark and you're like, Chris, what the hell are you talking about? Go check out the announcement. It's there. Michael made a full-fledged video specifically on just that announcement if you want you can go on youtube.com backslash dude of rock 18 and the announcements right there if you want just the announcement um other than that that's really all the news we have right now um now that things are back to normal for me my regular fall winter and spring schedule and we're away from the hectic summer things are going to be getting better lots of changes are going to happen at the beginning of next year uh in my life um, and everything else uh, around here. So hopefully by the beginning of next year, things will be a little bit easier. Um, I don't want to say what it is because some of the stuff is private, but it involves uh, Mike's going to be helping out. Ellie's been a humongous help also. So to keep videos and everything else going, they're going to be helping out a lot while things are changing around here, what those things are. It's, some of it's personal, some of it is, and you guys will see as the new year comes in and we progress forward. So let's get into the books. Now I've bullcrapped enough for you guys. First book is a special book. This was sent to us um, from Dan Danson. This is Argo 5, issue number 13. Now for those of you that haven't checked out our indie reviews, from the beginning of our indie reviews, I've been reviewing Argo 5, which is from Argo Comics. Uh, is there a link in the front? No, there isn't, but it's probably in the back. And, and I reviewed uh, Serrani of Power. And... A is for August, but A is also for Argo. I came up with this, uh, and I told Dan about it a little while back. Um, this month is definitely the month for Argo, because this week, guys, Argo 5 issue 13 came out, as well as the next issue of Sorority of Power, uh, which I'm sure Mike will be reviewing digitally at some point. But we are huge fans of Argo 5, and Dan actually personally sent myself and Michael a copy, a physical copy of Argo 5 issue number 13. He must know we love the number 13, and he's also signed both copies, so once we review this... Well, 13's this, a lucky number. Yes. So once we review these books, they're going to end up on our autograph wall with all the other books that we have that were autographed by tons of awesome people. I love Argo 5. I would definitely recommend you guys check it out and go on ArgoComics.com and order yourself a copy right now. There's 13 issues of Argo 5. And one issue of Pickle Man. I don't know how many of Sorority of Power. It, it I think there was four. 
Maybe five well, now. Five. The new yeah, one. yeah. Probably. So I apologize, Dan. I can't remember the numbering of Sorority of Power. There's the Chronicles, the Argo, uh, the Argo um, Chronicles as well. That was it, right? God, I hope I'm, I'm saying it right. See, this is what happens when you go a week going... Whoop. Anyway, you can check out that series as well. And that spans the entire Argo universe. And it's awesome. You can check it out on the computer, Mike, and correct me. It's yeah. in the, in the folder. Don't worry. But anyway, Mike will correct me um, on the title. But ArgoComics.com, spectacular books. Love it all around. Sorority of Power, again, is a more uh, relaxed comic. Something to have you guys laughing. Argo 5 is the team book, and then... What? Oh, I thought you had it. Oh, oh I'm, I'm trying to... Go ahead, talk. Okay, I'll, I'll and then the other book, which Mike is going to find the title for in two seconds... Argo Comics Anthology. Anthology, I was right. Yeah. And then Argo Comics Anthology covers the entire Argo universe. Yeah, Sorority of Power was six, so I think the seven. Seven, one. so now there's seven for Sorority of Power. Thank you, Michael. Yes, you're welcome. Love having my computer right behind me. So guys, I would highly recommend you check it out. This is a perfect jumping on point also. If you want to see Dan talk about the book a little bit more, go on ComicFrontline.com. His Monster Hall is officially up right now. And he actually talks a little bit about this book. And you get to see the cover for Sorority Power. And ironically, this cover is by Tom Raimi. Rainey. Rainey. Who ironically just did... In, uh, oh God... Infinite Crisis, issue number two. So Tom Rainey actually did the cover for Argo 5, issue number 13, which I think is really cool, and I just wanted to throw that out there, um, which I thought was really awesome, too. And, so I, and I had the book, so I figured I'd show it off. But looking forward to reading this. And as a matter of fact, this normally would go two weeks from now, but we're going to be throwing this into the um, indie review, which will be why my 1,100th video. Uh, 1,100, very good. 1,000 and first video after my 1,000th video. So this will be in uh, last week with last week's indie books. Yeah, but we both truly thank you, Dan, for sending no, us oh, the comics. Oh, thank you so much, Dan. We really appreciate it. We love our physical copies of books and huge supporters of Argo Comics. Like I said, argocomics.com. Really awesome stuff. Moving on, we got Jonah Hex, issue number 34. I believe this is the last issue of Jonah it, it, Hex. I think it is the last because it says end of the trail, so yeah. I saw the end in the end. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, issue 16. Things are going to be kicking up after the Shira saga, that's for sure. Justice League Dark, issue number 34. We've got All New Invaders, issue number 9, Deathlock on the cover. And just because Michael isn't getting the death of Wolverine doesn't mean he's not going to conclude the series. Issue number 12, which was a $5 book, which was ridiculous for a final issue, but whatever. You've got The Punisher versus The Thunderbolts and Thunderbolts, issue number 30. Mm -hmm. My final issue of Avengers, Avengers number 34, the final part to the original Sin crossover. I'm just not going to be getting... Avengers, in oh, why are you giving me that? I was like, wait a minute. I'm not getting into... Um, the uh, in seven months things end or something like that. Sorry, um, Axis will be more than enough. Thank you. And Spider-Verse. Adventures of Superman issue number 16. The unfortunate end to a spectacular series. I don't understand why DC is doing it, but they're doing it. All new X-Men issue number 31. Jumping into the ultimate universe here. Amazing Spider-Man Learning to Crawl issue 1.4. One more point issue to go before the conclusion to the first story of Spider-Man. The beginning of Spider-Man. Batman Beyond Universe issue number 13. Looking interesting. Really loving this series. Fantastic Four issue number 9. It looks like the kids are going to be going after Dragon Man in this one from what the cover says. The Flash issue number 34. Looking forward to reading this. Now we're in some Xenoscope books. Godstorm, Hercules, Pain, issue number five of five, the grand finale of them all. If you guys have not checked this series out, you don't know what you're missing. We got Warlord of Oz, issue number four of six, another series that if you guys aren't checking it out, you're missing out on some good stuff. Got Original Sin, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 18. Thanos is in it. I'm interested. Inhuman, issue number four. It's just one of those books where I just got to keep reading it. The grand finale in Red Lanterns issue 34 of Guy Gardner versus Atrocitus. What will happen? What will change? We'll find out there. You find out what happened to Parallax in Sinestro issue number 5. Looking forward to reading that. The next issue of uh, Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr. in Superman 34. Looking forward to seeing how that goes forward. Uh, Turtles in Time... 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles edition number three. I honestly can't wait till this series ends because I'm not really a fan of the changing artwork in every book. And we finally got the annual. The annual was good, I will say that, but we'll talk about that in the indie review. But still, Batman Eternal issue number 21. Bad things happen in this issue. I did look through a lot of these books already. Like Future's End issue number 17. Wow. A revelation in this book. We'll talk about that on the review. We got Mega Man issue number 4. We've got Sonic Universe, issue number 61, part 1 of 4 of Total Eclipse. This is the pixelated uh, cover. And I believe it's Knuckles versus uh, Shadow in that one. But, yeah. We've got Ghostbusters, Mass Hysteria, issue number 19. The next issue, I believe, is the last issue of this as well. Michael's Dead Boy Detectives, issue number 8. I believe it's 8. Yeah, it's 8. I found oh. the number. And finally, Tomb Raider issue number seven. I am so glad that's back because I thought Gail Simone stopped after six, but my God, that is awesome. It's back. I'm just glad it stayed too because it's a good series. And that's it for the books. Now let's get into some extras. First of all, this week, um, the release of the Red Sun Superman Midtown exclusive. For those of you that are pop vinyl fans, I actually did a spotlight on this figure the day it came out, but... You can get your Red Sun Superman exclusive Midtown figure at MidtownComics.com. Um, go on MidtownComics.com. They're literally posting it, postering it all over the website. It was a $10 figure with, I have no idea how much shipping because we pre-ordered it, but I, I would say about $8 shipping or so because Midtown apparently likes to charge more if it's not comic books. But it's worth it. It's a beautiful figure. If you want to see a spotlight review of this, go check it out on ComicFrontline.com. Really satisfied. I guess Midtown Comics is spotlighting the Red Sun Superman. Game-wise, we got three new games this week. Actually, Cindy wanted these uh, two of these three uh, out of these three games, and then I just grabbed the other one because it looks really awesome. We've got Batman, uh, Lego Batman, the video game number one. This also comes with the Batman. This is the Silver um, Shield edition, so it also includes the first Batman movie with Michael Keaton. Uh, because it's the Xbox 360, it is a DVD. If you get it for the PlayStation 3, you get it in Blu-ray, which I didn't want to do, so we got it on DVD. She also got Batman, uh, Lego Batman issue number two, um, superhero, uh, DC Superheroes. Ba Lego Batman 3 is going to be coming out in, I believe, October. So, obviously, we got the first two. We're going to be getting the third. <coughs> and I got, because everybody's been telling me such amazing things about this Lego game, so I tried. I decided to get for the PlayStation 3 Lego Marvel Superheroes, because I've been hearing nothing but really good things about the Lego Marvel game. So I figured, why not? Cindy's getting two Batman uh, games. Might as well grab the Marvel one. Now, the other thing that we got this week was, this is an empty box now because it's hooked up. We just need the converter box, which hopefully will get here soon. Xbox One. And the big surprise was, when I ordered this, I thought I was just going to be getting the Xbox One with the Kinect. It actually also comes with a free downloadable copy of Franza. Five. I did Is not expect that. Huh? Forza, Forza five? five? You know, why do I call it Franza? Forza five. I, I love how I was practicing the, the how to say this the whole time and I was saying don't say Franza, don't say Franza. Don't and you, you love it? Yeah. So Forza five was uh, a this was a supposed to be like a video game bundle. It was not advertised as the video game bundle. It was actually on sale. It was from a side store on Amazon. It was um, literally advertised just as the Xbox with the Kinect. I had a gift card for Amazon plus the sale that was on this. Uh, it came out to literally the price of a Xbox without Kinect. So I also got it with the Kinect and an extra game. But I don't know if we're going to be uh, using Forza or not. We might use it for something else. Stay tuned to find out what that um, might be. I don't know. We might keep it. We might not. I'm not a huge racing fan so we might not. I don't know. We'll see. But stay tuned to find out what happens to Forza um, 5. I believe Forza 6 is going to be coming out soon or something like that. 5S or I don't know. I'm not a racing game. I don't follow the racing games. The last racing game I played was Ridge Racer 5, and that was on the PlayStation 2, two systems ago now. We have all the new systems hooked up. Uh, like I said, we're just waiting for the uh, converter box. There's lots and lots and lots of stuff coming, and now that we have the free time, there's going to be a lot of videos, not only on this channel, but on Comic Frontline and other channels. So look forward to all of that. 
we are officially in gaming season also starting September, so look forward to a lot of stuff. There's a lot of news that's going to be coming out of a lot of things that I'm involved in. Uh, there's some news that's going to be coming out of Hall of Toys, so look forward to that. Uh, there's just a lot of news, and I'm really excited and pumped. I mean, finally, after a long, hellacious summer, I think things are finally going to settle down, and a lot of big things are going to be happening, uh, not only for myself, but from everybody involved on Comic Frontline, Comic Related, and even on Zone 4, because of Hall of Toys. So, look forward to a bunch of things. Speaking of those, don't forget to check out all three of those channels. Uh, we are your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Look forward to a bunch of stuff from me. Look forward to a 1,000th video celebration video. What's going to be the video? I have no clue. We'll figure it out. I'll sleep on it, and you guys will see it probably tomorrow. So until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next video.